Hey guys, and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be going over the Hogue AR-15 furniture that is on the market today. And the reason why I want to do this video, I know that it's kind of a weird, it's kind of, you know, kind of a boring review and all, <clears throat> but I want to get the word out that this exists because me and most of my friends didn't even realize they were making furniture until I bought this rifle. So that's kind of a big deal um, to me, especially considering this buttstock is a pretty big win in my opinion. So let's go over the pistol grip first. It is an A2 pistol grip. That is all it is. They just did their rubberized molding over it. I'm like almost completely certain of that. Okay. So they have a little bit of a flare here though at the bottom to kind of keep your, your hand on the actual pistol grip while you're trying to hold it. And um, they have a palm swell right here so that it's thickened up a little bit right here. So the reason why that's good it's because you, now you're going to get a bigger, it's going to fill your hand more. Tension is going to is going to be less of an issue. Fatigue is going to be a little bit less of an issue when you're holding the weapon for extended periods of time. So really and truly, it's not a bad pistol grip. I just don't like the A2 grip angle anymore. I've, I've been spoiled now at this point, so I don't want anything to do with it anymore. So I will be replacing it. But if you do like the A2 grip angle, you really should consider this. Because um, back when I was using an M4 for other for actual job reasons, <laughs> we used to take electrical tape and actually wrap it around our A2 pistol grip if we didn't want to go buy an actual pistol grip. <laughs> so um, having having one of these is, is pretty familiar to me and actually almost kind of feels at home. So I don't know if I'll get rid of it for real though. But I am pretty I am pretty spoiled by BCM at this point, so I probably will be replacing it. The buttstock is the real win though. Really and truly love this buttstock. Three QD points. If you are one of those people who actually like to put a sling on your weapon, um, it's got a rubberized cheek well, which I really like. The reason why I really like it is, is there's nothing worse. If, you, if you've never experienced it, then, then you're probably living in a very cold place because um, when it gets really hot and your face starts to sweat, holding a cheek well, can be annoying, especially when you're firing a whole lot. If you're shooting a lot and you're shooting at a heavy pace and you're moving and shooting, having a having a rubberized cheek well is really nice. I really like this because um, I live in Texas and it is hot, so my face sweats. So my cheek has a harder time scooting around all over the place while I'm trying to shoot. Um, it has a slight rubber to the butt pad, which I know that I was expecting more out of Hogue, honestly. Um, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of figured there'd be a whole lot of a rubber on the back here, but there's really not all that much. It's, it's really thick base pad. That's if it, you know, you can feel a little bit of rubber to it, but I think it's mostly plastic with maybe a rubber covering it. You know what I mean? I could be wrong though. Who knows? I'm, I'm not claiming to be an expert on the thing, but, um, you adjust it by grabbing here, just like on a Magpul stock. And um, so that, that should feel pretty familiar, felt pretty familiar to me. And it has a really good lockup. Like it has very little give. I know that you really can't see it, but it has very little actual give when it's on the, uh, the buffer tube. So all of those things are good. I mean, I, I really, the buttstock is $60, which isn't exactly cheap, but I mean, they're not asking for like some crazy price for it. I think it's well worth $60. Because what it offers over your typical Magpul stock is good enough, in my opinion. I mean, this is all you would ever really need in a butt stock. Yeah, it, and and also it is a little bit, a little bit heavier because of the rubber, but like nothing that you would ever truly notice. All the weight on an AR is in the front, anyways. Like you're never gonna really notice in the back. So. I really like it. I think this is easily worth $60 and easily worth it if you're looking for something a little bit tighter fitting with a little bit better fit and finish than, say, your normal mag pull stock. And like I said, if you like the A2 pistol grip, but, you know, this would be a good option for you, honestly. It has that it has this flare right here at the bottom. So your your hand isn't slipping like this or anything like that. Like I hated that with the A2. The normal A2, your hand would start doing this after a while as it got more and more tired, you know what I mean? But this sturdy, firm grip, it's that simple. I like it a lot um, in the sense of if I had to choose between this and an A2, if that makes sense to you. So um, 
If you have any other questions about the product, I know this is kind of a vague video. I I know that it it's not a whole lot to talk about in a pistol grip and a buttstock, but I did feel like I needed to get a video out on these two products because I didn't even realize they existed. So, and I think this buttstock is a great product. I think Hogue really has um, outdone themselves with the idea behind this this buttstock because they they took something that was basically already great, which is the Magpul stock, and then improved on a few things from, you know, I mean, improved on a few things that every buttstock, for the most part, has an issue with, it seems. So um, it has a lot, of good, a lot of good things to offer, so I was pretty happy with it. Simple and fixes some of the problems that are plagued by most buttstocks. So um, if you guys have any other questions, just go ahead and comment below. Please like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody.